doesn't, if the CR doesn't defund totally the uh, health care law, like you said, with the, uh, the automatic spending, that's that's not negotiable. You won't vote for there are different ways to do that. Jack Kingston came up with a great approach that simply does what should have been done. And uh, Jack says, you know, he's talked to some on the Senate and even Democrats who had said, you know, it really isn't right for one majority to post date checks that bind future majorities from the other party. Because it works both ways. We see that uh, the majority changes hands. And so I, I think Jax came up, has come up with an idea and a way to say, okay, we're not going to cancel the Obamacare bill, but this year what we will do is say, we're canceling all those checks. That, so that it would have been 105 that Congress yeah, it, yeah, and so um, it will cancel those post-dated checks, and it actually cancels anything that hadn't already been spent, and will require for the future uh, future Congresses to actually appropriate the money. Now, there's some conservatives who might say, "Well, gee, though, that does leave the door open for future Congresses to refund Obamacare." Well. Uh, that leaves the future open to uh, have different majorities. If a different majority comes in and they want to create a, an even more devastating the health care bill than Obamacare bill is, they'll be in the majority and they can do that. But we got the majority this time based on our promises and we ought to keep them. It's just that simple.